Thank you very much for your attention. I would like to have a little bit more applause because I'm going to shorten this thing to just five to seven minutes, okay? So that's right, I'm going to get it. But before that, I'm just going to take two minutes of your time and just pay attention, eyes off your screen, onto the big screen to take a look at this video, all right? Just two minutes of time, thank you. In today's data marketplace, app developers monetize their data through centralized intermediaries that aggregates data from multiple sources. Unfortunately, data monetization models are non-transparent and at times unfair to app developers. Furthermore, data buyers are unable to audit the integrity and origins of the data, and users are not rewarded and have little control over their privacy and data sharing policies. How can we give the power back to these stakeholders through a transparent and audible system? Introducing Swipe, a decentralized mobile engagement data platform on the blockchain. Swipe empowers app developers with a suite of in-app tools and a transparent and fair way to monetize data through our decentralized data marketplace. Swipe can be integrated seamlessly and helps app developers to increase their app engagement and user retention. Take Swipe Push, for example, a lock screen delivery service that beautifully displays content to users. Once integrated, app developers and their users can opt in to join the data monetization process in the Swipe network. All data collected will be aggregated, anonymized, and encrypted, and channeled into an analytics engine, which processes the data into packages. App developers are now able to monetize data directly to the data buyers in a transparent way. Users will have privacy control over their data and will be rewarded in the process. And data buyers can audit the data, giving them the confidence about its accuracy and origins. We are creating a better data marketplace that benefits everyone. Imagine thousands of apps connected to millions of users in one huge network, earning rewards together every time data is traded. Swipe, monetizing mobile engagement data on the blockchain. All right, as a promise, just two minutes, all right? Okay, no applause for two minutes. All right, that's right, come on. Come on, we should get a little bit more of that. Okay, first of all, uh, my name is Adam. I'm from, I'm from Singapore, and I'm introducing this project called Swipe. We want to monetize mobile engagement data on blockchain. As I mentioned, I had 24 slides. I'm going to shorten this way, way shorter, so you guys know about this. I've explained this in the video. I've explained this in the video. We're going to introduce basically our value proposition and how Swipe actually works. It's going to be really, really simple. I'm going, oh, great. Okay, so basically we want to put everything, such as our data, um, behavior data, demographics, interest data, through the different apps onto our decentralized ledger. We have a smart contract, which actu actually the video has explained. One thing that for you guys to take note is actually what is off-chain over here is our Analytica engine. Okay, our analytics engine. Before we actually put all of this into a decentralized platform, a decentralized marketplace. And what is unique about our platform is this. Okay, while other data blockchain apps actually put onto focus on the decentralized marketplace, we don't do that. Okay, they we build we don't believe in reinventing the wheel. So we build our marketplace on the origin protocol. So let me introduce a little bit about our. Uh, all right, thank you. Okay, let me introduce Swipe SDK itself. Why is this SDK? Because we want to build a network of app developers using our SDK instead of developing each app to get users. So uh, we have a push, a Swipe Push. What does it do? It actually pushes lock screen content. So it takes your whole screen itself. For example, football fans itself from Juventus will love this itself. And of course, we have Swipe Ads for in ads, uh, in ad ads with our Swipe mission. This is for staking. And of course, our Swipe Marketplace. So what's our token economy? Basically, we have three portions of it. The first portion to actually enable payment through our tokens. Okay, decentralized payment distribution, data buyers able to transact through our Swipe tokens. The next thing, we want to reward all the data users as well as our app developers with rewards. Okay, in the past, all of these um, app developers, all they can do is a one-time sales to centralized data in, mid in the middle east, right? But with this, with every transaction, they actually get rewarded. So last part of our token economy is actually our staking. That's pretty important for us. So let me introduce our go-to-market strategy. Um, in third quarter, which is now, okay, last month we actually just finished our MVU, which is a blog post. You can actually go on to Google Play Store and you are able to download that right now. This is actually a display, it's a demo app. We are not a D app. 
Okay, this is just a demo app to showcase our capability with our SDK itself. And in 2000, uh, 2018, fourth quarter, what we'll be doing is that we want to work with our early adopters to actually do the testing, make sure that we have use case back in 2019, first quarter. So we want to co-create commercialized use case for the commercial industry itself. And of course, moving forward will be mass market adoption. So why do we, uh, we are focused a lot on Southeast Asia market for a few reasons. First of all, you can see on the screens over here. Uh, for the first prong approach itself, our focus in, is in Philippines as well as Indonesia. And why is that so? Okay, first of all, let me talk about Indonesia. It's one of the biggest, it's the third biggest population in the world, 250 million population over there. And 70% of them are unbanked. On top of that, last year, interestingly, there is more crypto traders than stock traders in Indonesia itself. Of course, this is then, therefore, the market that we are looking for. And of course, the main thing is we actually have really uh, business over there, owned and operated, as well as partners in Indonesia. The next part, it's our second prong of approach is actually onboarding global crypto apps to actually use our SDK because these are people who actually appreciate our tokens. Of course, this is some of the um, our roadmap back when we started this in 2016. Okay, we have uh, Agla's re reward and uh, Sapap Swipe. And 2017 July, we actually started Swipe Crypto. So this is a team. I would like to introduce my CEO, which is actually on the left side. He's actually ex IBM Lenovo. Okay, uh, working with Six Sigma, Lean Team, and things like this. With our CTO, uh, CTO and our CSO, Andrew and Sean. Both of them are from Singtel. What do they do? They handle data from telco as well as healthcare data. So that's their experience. Together, they have been in there for over 10 years. Last but not least is our COO, which is Ian. What does he do? He's from McKenzie Digital in Indonesia. Of course, some of our advisors, you might be really familiar with them. We have Jay Han and John from Kinetic. We have Sean Jie, who actually introduced us uh, the solution of blockchain because they wanted implementation of our app in places like South, uh, like Africa, where we do not have business partners. So one of the solutions to giving rewards to the, our partners in these countries is through tokenization. Of course, we have Tom uh, TLDR, which is one of the biggest capital in UK. We have Johan, which is ex, um, who's from Uber, as well as ex-COO of Gojek in Indonesia. He's our partner. And of course, we have Yaron from Kyber Network, who is actually advising us on our smart contract to make sure that it's, everything is in place for that. EdX uh, co-founder, CEO, Ivo. And the last four gentlemen at the bottom, right? You can see from there. Jeffrey, it's from the top two VCs in Indonesia. Alpha, JWC. Of course, how they can't, traditional VCs can't actually invest in Swipe. So what they did was they, they created this new entity called Alpha Block. You can actually check out on them later on. Of course, the next three names over here, they are all the gurus of media in Indonesia. Okay, they own pretty much all traditional as well as alternate media. What do they do? Like TV, radio stations, MRT, focused media. All of this belongs to these three gentlemen over there. So some of our blockchain partners, I don't think that you need any introduction. As we mentioned about Origin, why, how are we partnering with them? We are building our decentralized marketplace on their protocol itself. And of course, our data monetization partner, if some of you are on your mobile phone, what you guys can do, I'm going to bring your attention to some of those who are not on the block, uh, blockchain. GMO Research is actually uh, a listed company in Japan who actually do with market research. We have Acon that focus in Singapore and Hong Kong. We have Performance that focus in Korea. Last but not least, we also have Panelan, who is actually focused in China. So these are some of the apps that we have. Uh, Chapat Swipe, Agalash Reward, as well as Blog Post is owned and operated by Swipe Crypto. Okay, we also have some of other, and this three app itself have about a million users. And our partners, we, have, we partner with about 20 other apps, which brings in another a million user in Southeast Asia, which means that it brings the total of 2 million users in Southeast Asia using our Swipe. These are some of the media uh, coverage that we had. And of course, with that, as I promised, just five minutes, uh, we hope that you have any questions. My CEO is on standby to actually answer any of your questions. This is our Swipe uh, website. We hope that all of you can join our Telegram to get the latest information on our community itself. Thank you. Thank you.